give the call to the member for Wentworth. My question is for the Treasurer. Australians want their governments to focus on the long term, not the news cycle. They understand we need economic reform because our fiscal arrangements are not sustainable. But past governments, Labor and Liberal, have not delivered the fundamental changes necessary for long-term growth and prosperity. With a trillion dollars of debt, high inflation and low productivity, the choices have only gotten harder. So when will we see a real tax and spending reform agenda from this government? Give the call to the Treasurer. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I thank the member for Wentworth for her question and for her interest uh, in all of the areas in her question. Uh, it is true uh, that governments are called uh, to deal with uh, the long-term opportunities in our economy at the same time as we deal with some of the nearer-term pressures uh, as well. And if you think about the 2020s as Australia's defining decade and how we set ourselves up for another generation of prosperity like that which was delivered uh, by the reform agendas of the 80s and 90s, we need to be thinking about how do we manage the big shifts when it comes to the energy transition? How do we manage data and digital shifts and the opportunities there? Uh, how do we make sure that we've got the workers that we need for the care economy and the services economy? How do we broaden and deepen and diversify our industrial base in ways that so many of the Cabinet Ministers over here are engaged in? Uh, and so I think it is crucial. Uh, right now, in the 2020s, uh, that we have the capacity to work on that longer-term agenda while we deal with this inflation challenge uh, in our economy. Uh, the National Reconstruction Fund is part of, part of our efforts. The Safeguard Mechanism is part of our efforts. Uh, the Housing Australia Future Fund is part of our efforts. All of these things which are before the parliament uh, will help determine whether we succeed in the 2020s and into the 2030s whether we can reform and change our economy so that we're managing the shifts in the economy but maximising the opportunities that flow from those changes uh, at the same time. And we do need to be able to do that while we deal with this nearer-term inflation challenge in our economy in ways that I outlined in the answer to other the questions before. Now, when it comes to tax reform, uh, which I understand was the main feature of the member's question, uh, we are reforming the tax system in modest, methodical but meaningful ways. Uh, when it comes to superannuation tax concessions, when it comes to aligning the off-market and on-market treatment of share buybacks, when it comes to multinational tax reform, one of the key things that we discuss with our international partners at the G20 and at other, on other occasions as well. And these tax reforms, these modest, methodical but meaningful changes to our tax system, will make uh, our budget more sustainable over time. It will make it more sustainable than, would, than it would be without these tax changes. Uh, and in addition to that, uh, we do have a whole bunch of other uh, priorities when it comes to our economic plan, uh, fixing our supply chains, lifting the speed limit on the economy so we can grow without adding to inflation. Uh, tax is part of that, but it's not the only part of that. I look forward to working closely with the crossbench, with the member for Wentworth and for, with anyone who understands that we've got a big opportunity in this country to turn the difficulties of the last few years into immense opportunities for our country and, more importantly, its people. Economic reform is part of that, and we're up for it. Yeah.